Greetings and humble salutations. I am Thomas J. Woosley, graduating accounting student from Chicago, Illinois. Greetings, I am Jake Martin, a graduating business administration management student from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Greetings, I am Zakithia Jackson, a graduating business administration student from Miami, Florida. Greetings, I am Leslie Williams, a graduating business administration student from Miami, Florida. And today we're presenting the Coach Strategic Plan. The agenda is, first we want to start off with the background, the mission, vision, and value statement, the SWOT, strategic issue, recommended strategy, the implementation plan, return on investment, projected benefits, risk, projected income statement, and the conclusion. Coach started off in 1941 in a small Manhattan loft. Coach started off with six leather workers who handcrafted wallets. Coach is also the first American leather accessory company. Coach's current mission statement reads, Coach seeks to be the leading brand of quality lifestyle accessories, offering classic and modern American style. The current mission statement is missing the nine components. But it's okay, we revise one for you. The revised mission statement reads, Coach is committed to providing consumers with top of the line products made with care and passion. As a company in the fashion industry, Coach strives to remain up to date with current fashion trends while providing unique products. Our aim is to reach consumers who wish to express their style in an elegant manner. We believe that our integrity and values are based on our respect and concern for consumers as well as the environment. Coach will strive to produce all products in an innovative way that will allow consumers to expand their coach experience through online purchases. We will practice a growth initiative that is clean, profitable, and competitive. The coach brand consists of high standards as well as morale. We, with developed projects, we will give back to our community. Our employees will be provided with a professional work environment that will foster employment and career growth with development. Coach's vision statement reads, to become the company that defines global modern luxury. The value statement reads, at Coach, we believe in an inspirational and modern work environment is where exceptional talent thrives. We nurture a culture infused with creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, learning and achievement to allow our people to always do their best. We inspire talented and diverse individuals who work collaboratively to drive continued success of our brand. The coach culture is truly a reflection of our coach people, both who we are and who we strive to be, simply defined by our coach values. We see possibility in the impossible, we nurture authenticity, we integrate individually in teamwork, and we fuse creativity and logic. Again, I am Zakithia Jackson, and I will present to you a SWOT analysis of your company. We will take a look at the strengths in marketing and accounting, weaknesses in management and technology, competitive and economic opportunities, and legal and social threats. Some strengths that your company possess is that Coach owns all material trademark rights. Coach also launches national, regional, and local campaigns to support its major selling season. A weakness that your company has is that you guys have experienced a turnover of senior management roles. Also, your company has experienced computer system disruptions, cyber threats, and data breaches, which may make you unreliable for online consumers. An opportunity for Coach is the, the, the recent decline with Michael Kors, which has created market saturation and has overall declined a demand for Michael Kors mainstream leather handbag collection. Also, another opportunity per capita disposable income is expected to grow 2.4% within the next five years. Some threats for Coach. The Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act, which was passed in 2008, it prevents the sale of jewelry to young consumers, and this is a major threat for the industry because young consumers is the fastest growing market. Another threat is the usage of online services, which is expected to increase, and that is a threat for Coach because more online shoppers are shopping online. And here's a look at you guys' financial ratios. 
as you see the past three years for coach, coach has been increasing when it comes to the current ratio and the quick ratio, showing that you guys are managing your assets and um, liabilities very well. When it comes to return on invest, um, assets and return on equity, you guys have been declining, but it's nothing that you, can, you guys cannot come back from. On this side, we take a look at you versus your competitors of Kate Spade and Michael Kors. Michael Kors is the number one in the industry. They are dominating when it comes to almost every category. Kate Spade is lacking behind you guys. We're showing you guys are being competitive and staying being competitive, but we do have to get you guys above that Michael Kors threshold. Again, I am Jade Martin, and I will cover the strategic issue. Due to our research that we did of your company, we found that Coach Brands has decreased in the public image. While competitors such as Michael Kors, their revenues have increased. Due to the brand's popularity and style among teens and young professionals. Based off of this issue, the recommended strategy we developed for your company was product development. This product development strategy will focus on ages 18 to 31 that will make a collection that will give a modern change to Coach's classic look. The reason we chose just to focus on mainly 18 to 31 was because of the industry's fastest growing market segment. Due to the increase in companies' efforts to attract the market for Generation Y's huge influences on product design and maintain relevancy among modern competitors. The implementation of CGY will both complement Coach's classic look and feel while introducing a modern change to increase the market segments of Generation Y. We developed a five-year implementation plan for your company, which began in 2016. During quarter one, we will introduce the CGY to the board of directors and begin formation of research and development, marketing and finance teams. We will also begin gathering data and research about Generation Y. During quarter two, we'll begin the process of establishing a marketing campaign. During quarter three, we'll develop innovative product ideas for CGY as well as a brand of electronics. Finally, during quarter four, we'll begin manufacturing processes for CGY. During 2017 of quarter one, we'll begin advertising and marketing for a special preview of Coach Generation Y. During quarter two, we will have a fashion show to introduce physical products to the market. Locations will include California, New York, Atlanta, and Chicago, and a vast of other locations around the United States. During quarter four, we'll exclusively introduce CGY to Coach to select Coach stores across the United States offering an array of promotions and specials to increase sales and capitalize on the holiday season. During 2018 and quarter one, we will analyze all aspects of CGY by coach by including but not limited to the cost involved in the customer reaction to the new product line. We will see how the customers are reacting to this new range of products. During quarter two, we will market and advertise for the official release of CGY into all coach stores and outlets within the United States. During quarter three, we'll reveal the CG product line into the coach stores and outlets across the United States. And finally, during quarter four, we will unveil the CGY product line available for online purchase through official online coach websites. During year 2019 of the plan, we will track the success of CGY and how the customers and the consumers are reacting to the new product line. We will introduce CGY electronics into retail stores and online. During quarter three, we will discuss the plans for global expansion of the new CGY product line. And during quarter, quarter four, we will analyze all aspects of CGY product lines to see where improvement of product and customer satisfaction needs to occur. And during 2020, we'll begin research for a customizable interface for CGY, which will give consumers ages 18 to 31 the opportunity to, com to complete and produce their own product that features their own personal responsibilities and their own personal gain. We will see in quarter two and expand the CGY product lines globally into all coach stores and outlines online. During quarter three, we will collect industry data concerning the demand for customizable products among Generation Y. And during quarter four, we will release CGY customizables within coach stores and interface while gaining the market control of the holiday season. And now we take a look at the cost of the strategy. We saw that from 2013 to 2015, you got total cost of sales remained at a steady about 31, average of 31%. Um, so we took, we bumped that up to a 40% increase, a 9% increase, making it 40% between 2016 to 2020. We accumulated that 9% was directly from our strategy. So as you see from 2016 to 2020, this is the percent, 9% of the total cost of sales coming with our cost of strategy. And we distributed out that cost of strategy to research and development, marketing, distribution, manufacturing, and others. 
the gains from our strategy were directly from the accessories, handbag, and all other product. All other product is coming from the electronics. From 17 to 18, we'll take a social look at 2018. The percent change between 17 and 18 when it comes to the handbags were 15%. From 17 to 18% change was 4% in accessories and 4% in all other products, making a total gain of $439.8 million. Our return on investment took our cost and our gains from each of the years, and we came up with a total cost and a total gain, and we took gain minus cost over cost to come up with an ROI of 400. 14.80%. Some of our projected benefits financially and for our customers, financially we want to see an increase of um, total sales to be about 85% coming from accessories and women handbags alone. We also want to see a percent change of 66 from 2015 to 2020. On the customer side of things, we want to see an um, increase in apparel uh, appeal rating by 30% through the new product line of TGY. We also want to see an increase in market segment of Generation Y to 35.5%, making it the second largest in market segment right behind Generation X. Some internal processes and employee growth that we would like to see through our um, strategy are as follows. The TGY customizable interface, we want it to operate at 85% efficiency. Once it is up and running, we're taking almost five years to develop it. So once it is up and running, we want it to run with little to no deficiency for our Generation Y customers. We also want to see a reduction by 15% in product return defects and warranties. We like guests when they get our product, they are of the best quality and the highest um, standard that Coach provides. For employee side of things, we would like to see a 6% of internal growth through promotions. So we do want to see some moving around of some of our employees, not really outside, but more internal growth and development of our customer, putting them with the CJY product line. We also want to see an increase in customer service by 30%. When customers come into our store, we want them to feel as if they are not even shopping, if they're enjoying something that they love to do. Here's a look at our projected income statement for 2016 to 2020 is where our actually implementation plan is um, provided. Um, we discussed how we came up with net sales and cost of sales early in the PowerPoint. All other line items where we took the percent change from the previous years of 13, 14, and 15, and we took an average of that and increased them as follows. Earnings per share was took by 272.7 total shares, which was the average between 2013, 14, and 15, and we used that as a constant number for the next five years. Some risk involved with the implementation of our plan, we may see a decrease in our Generation Y customers, which also may cause a decrease in the traditional coach revenues of the traditional coach bag and accessories. We do feel like that may be offset by the implementation of the Generation Y customer coming into the store, so we don't feel like it will be that big of an issue. We also may see that Generation Y may not find the CGY product line as trendy or hot of a topic as the competitors of Michael Kors and Kate Spade. But we do feel that with the interface, the customizable interface, it may offset it that as well. With the customizable interface, we might see a risk of Generation Y just not having the time and the patience to go online and actually customize their own bag. So we're hoping that we make it easy enough and run it at that little to no deficiency rate that Generation Y will actually like the customizable interface as well. In conclusion, Due to our research, we saw that Coach has decreased in public image, while competitors such as Michael Kors revenues have increased due to plant brand popularity and relevance. A product development strategy was put in place for your company that was recommended to develop a collection focusing on Generation Y, ages 18 through 31. That will give a modern change to Coach's classic look. The strategy is expected to increase handbag and accessories a total of 85% by 2020 and increased customer service satisfaction by 30% through high quality customer service trainings, as well as an increase in 66% change in total sales from 2015 to 2020. Thank you for your time.